to my channel welcome if you guys are new here welcome back to small town apparel i am tiffany and today i'm sharing you a very small video um you guys if you saw my video of my nightmare story with dtf you'll know that this printer has been nothing short of a nightmare um, on a good day it works awesome i followed the daily maintenance and that's kind of what this video is all about um i don't recommend buying these desktop printers i really don't um you can get by with it for a while and i know people are going to come at me and say but theirs works great theirs works perfect um trust me eventually and i know all things are eventually going to have issues for the most part i don't have any issues with sublimation i don't have any issues with cricket other than it's a headache um but where it's not a commercial printer it's not a commercial dtf printer it's not made the same way um these just can't withstand the same level as other machines and i'm sorry i followed the rules i followed the instructions i did everything i was supposed to do right from the get-go i think i went over you know what i needed to do to baby that machine but some things are just faulty and i found many people that had the same issues i mean across the board people um that have small businesses that wish they'd never purchased it but you know what i've learned my lesson i've learned a lot um i have made a huge purchase. Um, I've saved up for a really long time. I've done my research. I'm praying I made the right choice, but I've ordered a commercial printer, DTF. But I'm still gonna use this. I'm still gonna, um, when it wants to work, it's awesome. When it doesn't, it's awful. So I've, come, I've found a lot of things along the way that might help you all. So first things first, if this is your first time here, um, I'm going to share with you very basic stuff in this video. This is the daily maintenance for this printer, for this very specific desktop model. This is the R1390, um, very basically the same as the L1800. Um, I know some people convert their own printers over. You guys can do that. Some, some have great success with it for a while. Um, eventually a lot of the people that I've talked to, it all ends up being the same. Um, and yeah, you can convert it and make it DTF, but honestly, these machines are not meant for that. So that's where the issues come. So anyway, this, um, this is the color sun printer. Um, but here's what we're going to do. Here's what your fir very first thing that you do. And you guys, I'm going to share a couple tips with you in case you have these problems. Cause I couldn't find the information on YouTube. I looked and looked and looked, and there's a couple errors I came across and I'm going to share those with you to save you the hassle. If you run into those problems. Because that's what I'm here for. To be honest and upfront. And when I get my commercial printer, I'm going to share every step of that with you. Because I'm going to be 100% upfront. None of this is paid for. So, um, first thing, you're going to turn your printer on in the back. And I, I already had mine on today. I turn it on every single morning. I do turn it off at night. Um, and I do my maintenance every single day. But there's a shortcut for your maintenance. You don't have to go through your RIP software. Um, which is very basic RIP software. Then you're going to power it on, obviously, every single day, I turn it on. I leave it on, even if I'm not going to use it, because I don't use this one a whole lot, just because um, we don't always get along, you know. But um, you're going to power it on. You're going to get it, let it come to the appropriate temperature that you need it at. And like I said, I just turned it off. This is just to show you what to do. So this is daily maintenance, you guys. Every single day, this is what you're going to do. So you're going to come over here. Once it's done turning on, setting up. Your inks, obviously your inks need a little shake. You're just gonna get in there. Let me zoom in on this. So you're gonna get in there and you're just gonna shake it. Mix it around because that stuff sits, especially the white. The white needs all the love it can get because it is the most prone to clogging. And I'm gonna touch a little base on that too. So you guys, it's not pretty. I've cleaned it, um, done all kinds of stuff to this printer. We have taken this entire thing apart. So you guys, if you didn't know, every day you need to do a print head check. Every single day. Not a nozzle check. You can check the nozzles. I will tell you, even when my stuff prints accurate, my nozzle checks don't always come out perfect. So it's really weird. But if you didn't know this, I had no clue till the rep told me that day um, when my printer was absolutely not working. This still didn't work. But that was because the motherboard was busted. So that was right after I got it. But anyway, um... All you can do, see the ink button, and I'm all, some um, L1800 I think has four buttons on it. Um, this is like your ink, or when you're out of paper, this will flash. But you can hold this in, I don't know, about seven seconds, something like that, and it's going to start blinking. And this is actually, 
you know, if you don't want to go through your computer and do it, it's going to do the print head cleaning and check that. I don't know if you guys knew that. Some of you might absolutely know that. Like I said, this is a very basic video. This is just for beginners. But that's going to cycle through, do a print head clean. Now, if you choose to do it the other way, I'm going to come over here, insert my dongle um, that's always in, you know, because it has the RIP software. So then I'm going to go to my file. And what you can do, like this is a very basic RIP. This is the 9.0, I think, that came with it, that came installed. So what you can do, if you don't want to do it that way, if you like to do it the old school way, you go to file. And then on mine, you're going to go to head cleaning and then you can run a print head cleaning on there you can run your nozzle check on there and it's just going to check and see if any of your nozzles are clogged and uh, that's what's going to do and I will tell you this sometimes this will happen this is probably going crazy because I have turned it off and back on and it is not liking it and sometimes it can mean that your um waste disposal needs to be emptied sometimes it just does this and the best thing like this is perfect to show you turn it off let it rest for a second you don't have to turn the whole thing off it's going to boot itself back up and also sometimes what also happens i'll show you this because like i said i don't use this printer all the time i'm going to wait a second and not turn it back on just in case that's the issue um last week down in here there was some gunk where i hadn't been running this printer there was gunk in there so i had to get my tools and i had to get the gunky build up out of there and the machine was trying to tell me you've got gunky buildup in there and that's what i did i went in wiped it out and then it worked just like normal so these machines are very temperamental like i said but you always want to run a print head cleaning before you do anything else with your printer and another thing that i do i don't do daily i used to do daily i used to be really really great about it is your wasting i want to empty that and if you need to manually pull your waste ink through, get a syringe. You can manually pull it through. Um, it comes with all kinds of syringes. Like I said, these are very good to keep on hand. Some people toss these when they get them in with their ink. I keep them because I've run into so many issues with this machine that I've needed them. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do next after this gets done running its print head clean. Okay, guys, another thing. If you ever have your lines, your white lines, and I looked and looked and looked on YouTube, couldn't find anything. Mine are good right now um, because I did a full clean on this. But if your lines ever look milky, like really light, and they have little dots in them where it looks like little bubbles of water are in there, the best thing that you can do is over here where your dampers are, you can pull these up. I'm not going to do it right now, um, but you can pull these out. You know, and you can pull these out and shake these every day too if you want to. I did that usually. Um, you're going to pull this out and you see that little end there. You're going to put that syringe in the end of that and just manually pull that ink through. And as long as nothing else is mixed in that ink, um, you're going to take the cap off over here. And you're just going to drain that ink back into there. Because there's no sense in wasting it. There's absolutely no sense. You're just going to pull it. Just like when you first start DTF. You mainly pull all the lines with the ink to get them going. You're just going to do the same thing. Sometimes your issue may need that you need new dampers. If you, And I've had to replace these before. Because they've gotten so messed up. Um, that I've had to do that. So that is one thing. If your lines ever get little bubbles in them. And one day this will probably happen again. And I'll share that video like showing you guys. You'll just manually pull that ink. That is one way to get that going. And you might have to do it over and over and over. Until it comes through. And it will come through thick. And it's awesome once you, you know, once that happens. So another thing is like I said. Um, there have been issues. And there was one issue that came about. When I kept pulling and pulling and pulling the ink. No matter what I did. The white ink would not lay down on the back. Um, of what I was printing. All the other colors came out. The white would not release in there. So what I had to do. And I will not share this today. Because it is such a nightmare. I'll do this another day for you guys. But if you've tried everything. And you're missing a color. That doesn't want to come through. What you have to do. Um, and there's not really videos out there. There is a screw down in there. There's a screw in here and there's a screw in here. And like I said, I'll walk you through this one day. You unscrew all of that because you're going to have to pull all these dampers out and leave them to the side. Some people hook them, do all that. I don't do that. I just hook them to the side. I, you have to be very careful. Take all the screws out and then you're going to pull this little piece up that's in here. And on the L1800, it's a little bit different. Um, I think there's an extra piece in there. Pull that out. 
and then you're going to be able to clean in there. You're going to be able to wipe with alcohol the little like print head. You got to be very careful. You'll be able to clean the gunk that builds up on there and clean all of that out and then just put it all back together. And usually that, I mean, every time I've had an issue that takes care of it. Um, you can also run the cleaner through. There's a way to run cleaner through. They sell it for like nine or $10 on Amazon and I'll link it below too. Very cheap cleaner. You don't have to buy the expensive stuff and you can pull it through the lines and clean it if they are clogged, but that's for another video. These are just tips and tricks. If you've tried everything and can't find your answers on there, and if you need help, I'm not an expert, you can message me, and I'll try to help you the best that I can, because I have looked and looked for tutorials about things and I can't find them. But you guys, every single day, the daily maintenance that I do is you make sure your printer's running for a while, let it warm up, let it get going, let it, you know, get adjusted. Um, I run it, I let I leave it on all day. I'll turn it off in the evening, but I always run a print head check. Um, always you can run your nozzle checks. That's for your personal preference, but you always need to run a print head check and always give your inks a little bit of a shake because otherwise they clog and make sure you're doing that because this will also build up and always make sure you're emptying your waste tank. That is the most basic daily things that you can do to keep your printer in good shape. And like I said, sometimes no matter what you do, it's going to mess up. And for example, if you go on vacation and you come back and obviously you're not going to print while you're on vacation, you're going to need to probably pull that ink through the lines manually. You're probably going to need to take all of those off and clean them because that is going to be, I mean, don't give up on your printer. You know, I have spent endless nights fixing this thing and learning new things all about this I never knew. And there's nothing to teach you. It's just, you're on your own. So you guys, hopefully I'll be an expert soon. But I wanted to share something cool with you. Um, so I worked with Off Nova before. I didn't really work with them. They sent me um, that label printer to test out. They sent me these. I've been really, really interested in trying this. Um, I'd heard crazy things about it. Um, seen videos where it washes off. So I, I tested it. And I'll show you that shirt that I made. If it was a um, the t-shirt maker shirt. So they sent me um, with that. It looks weird on the screen. They sent me a little pack. They have like little packs of... Um, the glitter ink and it's so cool um i thought it would um be fun to try it there it is like the it's smaller paper they didn't send me like a big thing and i don't i know some brands have um rolls of it if you have like an industrial printer so i'm really interested in that but i was really interested to see if the glitter was going to fall off of it after a washing because that's how you can tell what good quality is and also my other peel that the, the company sent me before came with the printer. I have to do a cold peel on that one. Most people can do a hot peel or at least a warm peel. Mine has to be cold and it's so annoying. This peeled, um, this didn't have to do a cold peel. This was like, not just like almost like a warm or hot peel and it peeled perfectly and the glitter stayed and this was awesome. And I'll, I'll practice it. Basically you just feed it through your printer like you would the regular film and the glitter kind of goes on top of the ink, but it doesn't come off. And what my dad had wondered, and I had wondered initially was, is all this other stuff gonna create glitter to go down on the shirt and be all over it? I've heard some brands do. I have heard you have to use a lint roller, get that off, that it gets all over the place. I will tell you, this brand, um, and this is really affordable too, this stuff. This brand does not. I tested it before I was gonna mention them because I said, I'm not just gonna mention a product to my viewers just like on my other channel, I will not mention something for promotional purposes or anything just because someone sends me something. I'm going to be 100% honest with you and tell you if it's terrible, even if they send it to me for free, um, or if I like it and what I like about it. So what I like about this is this stuff did not come off after I washed it. It's easy to use and it's really, really good quality. So I'll link this down below. Also, I was really proud of this and I'll show you the shirt that I made because I loved it. Like I love it and my printer will take forever to print that But you guys. So another thing, um, so I've had the same powder that the company sent me and I've had the same film. I, I don't love the film. It's okay. They sent me a huge pack. Like I said, you know, my printer broke initially and I, I, I was, I, I was out of commission of using this thing for months because this thing did not work and it took me so long to get the parts in. So I still have a ton of film that they sent me the, um, what drives me nuts about their film that the company sent me is, and a lot of times it's the same way with these companies. You have to do your work a lot and it'll make a ton of difference in what you get for ink, for powder, 
for um, film. It does make a difference. I had no clue get, going into this that any of that mattered. It absolutely matters. So it's night and day difference with other film. But I use that just because I'm making stuff around here. I use the powder. Well, this brand um, that is actually on Amazon, and I have a code for you guys, sent me some of their DTF film. Um, I'm going to run a print through anyway. So the benefits of theirs is it's got bright colors, strong adhesion, scratch resistant, it's washable, it's compatible with all DTF printers. Now they do have the, they have many different sizes and it tells you print size, which I love that when they put a sticker on there because sometimes you can't tell the difference. You can wet your finger and try to tell the difference, but on that stuff that came with this printer, you can't. It doesn't matter how many times you wet your fingers. It, it doesn't show a difference. It's really weird. Um, but they have different, they have like the big size paper, they have the smaller size, letter size. Um, I like to print with the big paper because I print multiple things on it. But look at this, look how big that paper is, that's awesome. Um, so this is the larger pack, this is a 13 by 19, there's 50 sheets of this. I'm super excited because um, I'm going to print some stuff off um, if my printer will bear with me. And all you do is change the back there. We've sent this, and then you guys, it's a one-stop shop. I'm excited to try this out. Um, this feels way softer than that. That feels a little grittier, but they have powder um, that you can use with your printer. And this company is called Sendale, C-E-N-D-A-L-E. -E. They're on Amazon. I'll link it below because I'm sure they have a discount code for you all, which I love when people give me discount codes because I buy a lot of stuff off of other influencers, watching their videos, seeing what they like. So you guys, I bought the most generic, I buy an ink and I didn't know, like I said, that you had to have premium stuff because the ink that the company sent me, I've not, it's night and day difference from what I bought from a company off Amazon versus what the company sent me. The ink that the company sent me was terrible. Um, not vivid, nothing. So this company, um, they send them in the smaller models because these are desktop size. These are small. Um, these aren't the, you don't need the huge gallons of it but they have tons of ink tons of ink and what i like about it is my other shipments have always come in and there's no sealing on it so um i had some white bust out one day um but these are all packaged in here i can't show you what the ink is going to look like like don't worry i'll follow up on this and let you guys know um how good it is but i don't want to mix my inks because i've got that other brand in there right now that i'd ordered um and i've still got a ton of ink because my printer doesn't use a ton so and another thing which I get super excited about is when I get the syringes sent to me. I use these for when I have clog issues, things like that, when I need to manually feed it through. But they have everything. They have everything that you need for your DTF printer, whether you have a converted model that you did yourself, whether you have one that you purchased from a company. You know, they've got tons of supplies. They've got the ink, which I've got tons of ink now. I'm super excited about and I'll follow up on how great that is. They've got the powder that is super soft, and then they've got this awesome paper. Look at this, the film, not paper, but look at this. This is awesome stuff. Um, they have awesome reviews, that's another thing. Um, I read through the reviews, looked through it all, because I was like, I am not even gonna even test the product unless I know that the reviews are good. Um, because a lot of that you gotta watch out for on Amazon also, because some companies will will do things um, in return for reviews. I'll never do that. I will never ever put a fake review on Amazon because it's terrible. So this company does not do that. They sent this, so test it, see how you like it. So, so far so good. I like it, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna send you guys um, the link down below. Um, but this video, like I said, I'm gonna show you the after, after I print it. I'll insert that clip in here, but you guys, go check them out check out the links make sure you do your daily maintenance this is a short sweet video i know i tend to ramble but i try to be um, very honest with you guys so i appreciate you all watching i'm going to have many more tutorials many more videos please subscribe please give the video a big thumbs up and you guys here in about two months i should have my industrial printer so please follow along with me on this journey and I'm on TikTok with the same name. Um, I think it's Small Town Apparel 1. I'm on Instagram under Small Town Apparel. And my site should be up again soon. But you guys, have an awesome day. And thank you for watching. Bye.